What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, of course you are watching TWA Motorsports and today, well we've got something that I'm sick of tripping over. It's been in here for a while, you guys have probably seen it in videos setting on the floor, but we are going to be addressing it today and yes, Cohen's car is torn apart behind me. More to come on that, I don't know if you're gonna see that video before or after this, but anyway, um, that's in a separate video. But here's what we are working on today, guys. So I bought this actually at a local salvage yard a while back, and I bought this for Cohen's truck. And there's a couple reasons I wanna do this now. Uh, one, it's getting very close to mowing season, and I don't trust, it's just got a ball on the bumper and the bumper seems a little tweaked. I'm hoping that we can uh, move the brackets and actually fix the bumper on Cohen's truck. We'll look at it here in a little bit uh, when we go to put this on. But um, look, you can pick these up from a salvage yard for, I don't know, 50 bucks or less generally. Um, this one had a couple bends in it um, that I knocked out in this plate right here, uh, which took some heat and some beating, but I got it. I also straightened out the plate. So this plate that holds that, I'm kind of back and forth whether I want to keep that or put it somewhere else. I think I'm probably going to keep it for now. But anyway, we need to clean this thing up and get some paint on it so it doesn't rust any more than it does, that it already is. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you that. But the other thing is, guys, you can imagine the bolts on this thing look absolutely atrocious. So I got the bolts as well because I pulled it off. Uh, I think they're 21 or 22 millimeter. I believe they're 21. Uh, but you're going to need four of these okay so there's there's actually five that hold it on one of them is actually part of the bumper bracket i believe and so that back one should have a threaded nut in it this one and this one come through from the top so these guys drop in from the top and there's a nut on the bottom side so i've got these that i want to clean up and i want to put some por 15 on the heads of them and maybe on the tip as well but let's get over to the grinder and uh, I'll show you guys a little time lapse of what these things look like kind of before and after and during the process. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of geek out on stuff like this. Um, I bought this little Porter cable grinder quite a while back and it comes with two grinder wheels. But what I did was I took uh, one side off and I put a flap wheel or a uh, like a deburring wheel. It's like a wire brush essentially. So what I like to do is... I, I've been cleaning up a ton of bolts and I haven't been showing you guys this on camera and it takes a lot of time But it just makes me feel good about putting pride in what I'm doing Look could we just slap this on that truck that truck's not perfect. Yes, we could but I I can't in good conscience do that So uh, there's a lot of times I clean up stuff even on turd trucks Because uh, I consider that kind of a turd truck, but um, anyway, this is what I'm using It's got a little LED light here, which kind of helps um, I honestly hate using this but I know it protects you. Uh, let's get some goggles on and get started. Check that out. Just in a little short amount of time, we'll do the head of it. See how much better that looks? Look at the difference between what we had and what we got now. Now, another great thing is we want to go down the thread because believe me, They thread on so much nicer when the threads are clean. Look at the threads on that now. So I've got a bunch of work to do here. I won't make you guys watch. I said I was gonna time lapse it, but I really don't need to. You guys can see, you know, kind of how quickly it happens. So what I do when I'm finished with that side, is I clamp it on the other side. Generally, I keep two of these over here. And we will run this side through. And it doesn't take 
It doesn't take long, it's just time consuming, it's kind of peaceful. Let's go ahead and knock this one out on camera. That's what we, this is what we started with, and that's what we've got now. Now onto the fun part. We gotta get this thing, you know, kind of roughed up. We don't have to have it perfect. It's not like gonna be show quality or anything, but I've got a wire brush that I bought. And so what this will do, this is gonna scuff up this entire thing. Somebody welded a, I don't think that's original there. Looks like some booger welds. What I probably need to do is get some goggles on, but we're gonna address this entire thing. Like I said, I think, I think I'm gonna leave that on, but I'm gonna take the sticker off. World's quickest sticker removal there. All right, guys, I need to get this all roughed up, both sides, inside, outside. I have a couple different ones of these. I may show you guys if I have to switch over, but uh, yeah, I got, I got some work to do here. Got it out here, ready to paint. Um, I just scuffed it up, guys. Look, you don't have to do an amazing job here. Some of the areas were really hard to get to. Uh, I did go over it with a Scotch-Brite, but I'm just using some satin Rust-Oleum. Nothing fancy here. We're not going for perfection, but like I said, I'm sick of tripping over it and uh, Cohen's gonna need it soon. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bolts and the nuts for the hitch. And uh, I've already, I know I said there's four. Uh, I've actually got two that are already painted, but we're extras. So I'm just using POR 15. Um, I generally just do one coat, guys. It generally covers pretty well. And uh, if you want to, you can do two. I probably should paint that um, hitch with POR 15, but it's just easier to spray it. Uh, that's just a lot of area to cover. So uh, let me get this accomplished. I'm just gonna use a cheap brush and um, get this coated. Now while that's all drying, I've got some work to do here on the bumper. First thing is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of laid back, okay? So I think it's from the weight being put on that guy, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I wanna get that ball off. I also want to take that piece of trim off because it's destroyed. I don't know whether I'm gonna to get to that, but I need to loosen the brackets and tilt this thing back up. I think it just moved on the brackets because the whole thing is kind of bowed down. Um, the other thing I wanna do is take the Arkansas State Police Association supporter sticker off. And as you can see for a while, it has had this dangling brake light. So what I've got here is I've got some WD-40. I'm gonna use that to spray all the bolts on the back side. They actually look pretty good. Um, one of our exhaust hangers is broke though on that side. We may have to deal with that at some point. Um, I'm hoping that it fits with that in there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to saw the exhaust off. Uh, but I'm gonna go spray. I'm gonna spray all the bolts, including the center bolt here for the um, that hitch or well that ball that's on there. And then I'm gonna use my heat gun and uh, get this started with the razor blade. And hopefully, this thing will come off and not give me any fits. I was able to get the ball off the middle, but I'm down here adjusting the bumper, guys. So what I did was I loosened the two 18s here. The 15 up top doesn't move, so you don't need to do anything there. I loosened the 21, and then I loosened the two 18 millimeters that go to the bracket. What that allowed me to do is you can, well, maybe you can see, I've got a jack under it with a block of wood to level it out, and now I'm going back and snugging it down. So that's all it really needed. It just had tweaked it a little bit, and, um, it has some up and down movement here. So now we've got it adjusted. Let's get it snug down and uh, we should be good to move on. I started cleaning some stuff up, but I wanted to yank this thing off. And look guys, can you, holy cow. Uh, can you get this off without doing it, you know, breaking it? Yeah, you can. Um, but this one's trash. So I thought, what the hey, we'll just break it. These little clips, we'll push, push those in. I clean this up a little bit. And I've got a new one ordered, so once it gets here, we'll have 
install it. These are just held in with little clips. These little guys right here, sometimes, well, I say sometimes, you can push these together and pull it out of the back, but I'm not concerned about that because we're gonna be replacing it. But I'm gonna take the time to clean up around this, and I also got some new uh, license plate light housings because these are, for one, they're chrome, one was broken and falling out. Uh, I'm probably gonna put new screws in too that look a little nicer. So a while back, you can see I've kind of cleaned up where the license plate goes, but I bought some nice caps and screws. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of picky about stuff like that. Like I said, guys, this truck's pretty rough, but I don't know. We'll make it look better. I'm gonna spray this down, get it cleaned off. And uh, we're gonna put it on with these new black screws and caps. Should look a little nicer, those crusty ones. And yes, I know the bumper has some dents in it. I'll list these in the description down below. This is a pretty nice set of license plate screws. And they come with the like black caps. This, this is the license plate off of the um, the white NBS. It's got a the hole. I wallered the hole out a little bit because we put the airbag connection there. So generally on these, if you get them too tight, your cap won't go on. There we go. That's a good. That's the sound you want to hear when it goes on. That looks better. All right, I'm gonna clean off. First of all, I'm gonna take these bulbs out and we're gonna be replacing those with LEDs. Who'd have thought, right? Let's go grab those, because I got some LazFit LEDs to put 194s, and then like I said, I got new uh, housing, because those, well, that one was broken and I don't like the chrome ones anyway. So we'll set these out. Guys, they go in this side first and then the, and the light side snaps. Let's go grab some bulbs real quick and uh, we'll get those in next. Got the uh, headlights on to see if these things work. Oh, that one works. And they're not side specific, so it doesn't matter. Let's get them in there. Sometimes they're little bit of a pain but like I said the back goes in first and then the front snaps in it's a tight fit and they're supposed to be a tight fit because that's what keeps them in well that side's done let's try the other side here take this off too because that's not going to be staying there and then I noticed there's a dent here I don't know if I'm going to try to knock that down a little bit I don't want to move the bumper I should have done this first but I didn't know it was there until I took that plastic off so I may heat that up and try to knock that dent down just because I'm afraid it's going to poke up and show so my bolts aren't completely dry that hold this thing in, but I want to show you guys where these things are going to bolt. And, and I don't have this piece yet, but um, look, there's two bolts that come up from the bottom side here. Okay, that hold up by the hitch itself. And then there's three bolts. The one that holds this, the bumper to the body. There's one right there and one right there. You can also see that I've chopped the exhaust off. Um, actually not any louder than what it was before, which is kind of surprising, but it was all rusty. You guys saw earlier the frame, uh, the mounts, the motor or the exhaust mounts were all busted up. So uh, it needed to be replaced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some temporary bolts in here 
because my other ones aren't dry just to get everything lined up because it can kind of be kinked one way or the other so i've got cam here he's going to help me um get this thing all lined up and i'm just basically going to lay it on my chest as i lift it into place we'll start one here we'll start one over here and then the two bumper ones and then in the morning or the next day when the bolts are dry we'll come back and put the ones that drop in from the top like that well bad news guys i was attempting to use the one for the dually because i didn't um i wasn't planning on putting it on the dually yet it will not fit this truck this right here will not allow it to fit there's no cutout for this um, some trucks have that some don't so we are going to have to rethink this and get something that actually fits the truck. Um, I'm going to have to find another one out of a similar year truck so we know it's going to work. Um, I assume that the one for the dually would fit this is the reason it's been laying out there. I took it off the dually. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, I'm actually just going to slap it on the dually real quick since it's painted and um, we'll just have to figure something else out here. Here's what I've decided to do. I'm actually going to cut this. I'm gonna cut this section out right here to clear this area where we're having the issue. Uh, I just think, honestly guys, I don't wanna use this one on the dually and we've already painted it, I know, but I'm gonna cut this section out to clear what we need to clear, which is that leaf spring hanger mount down there. Um, so I'm just gonna use my grinder, cut that off. I'll just spray those areas that are open metal. We're gonna put this thing in. So a little bit of an epic fail on my part. Um, guys, I actually trimmed that one a little bit, but it is definitely made for a three quarter ton or one ton. So you can see right in front of it, we've got another one um, that I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing to. Actually, the little, the holder for the electronics is busted off that one, but I'm gonna have to grind and sand that one down and shoot it. So not sure if you're gonna see that in this video or not. But you get the idea. I showed you guys where it hooks on. Just gotta duplicate what I did. We'll end up cleaning that one up and probably using it on the dually over there. But I did get, even though this thing's dirty from when we started this video, I did get the plastic piece to snap in here. And I've got some help here in my lap. You can see her, Kai. Hey. <laughs> She's uh, hanging out with dad for a second. Um, but anyway, this piece just snaps in. So Cohen's actually grabbing it. Uh, I don't know which part snaps in first. I think it's, I think we could probably go with the, the inner. I don't know. We'll just kind of work our way through it. And um, I think it's, it's just gonna take some pushing and prying, trying not to bend these clips over. Like this one right here seems like it's a little bent. I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, shut us one girl here and um, kind of push and move this around. But I, it looks good. This is a factory GM part. I'll list it in the description down below. Nothing's a pain to snap on, but we got it. This one little spot right here, I think, because the bumper is actually a little bent, but it's on there. So we got a lot accomplished, guys. Like I said, uh, I may or may not show you in this video the actual hitch on there, which is the whole reason we did this. I mean, we got the bumper straight and we got that new piece on. Some of the brake, the, well, you guys saw this was falling out. We got that accomplished. New LED lights, new license plate screws. Yeah, I think I'll show you guys once we're finished up. I need it for a thumbnail picture anyway. So after quite a bit of cleanup, We've got that new one on. Remember, this is the one we originally painted that we were gonna put on and uh, didn't work because the three quarter ton and the half ton are separate. Uh, they're different makes. Uh, the one thing I'll tell you guys, this came off a similar year truck. I couldn't use the two bolts that come into the bottom of the bumper, like behind the plate. Um, but we're not planning on hauling a car trailer with this. It's gonna be fine. It's got six bolts, two of them on the bumper, and then the two additional ones up front. We're not gonna have any problems with that. He's just hauling an aluminum uh, lawn mowing trailer anyway. So anyway, we're finished finally. Uh, it took me several days to get this thing cleaned up and painted and actually on, but we got a few things accomplished in this video. Of course, we replaced that pad that needed to be replaced and I'll be listing all this stuff in the description. So we got the pad replaced on the bottom of the bumper. We got a new hitch on that isn't an ugly ball and actually will fit. We got the bumper adjusted. We got new LED 
um, license plate lights, and we got a little um, some new license plate screws. So it looks a little better. Uh, the back of this truck is really cleaned up. Why spend all this time on a bumper that's got some dings? Well, guys, it just looks better. And honestly, I didn't trust that ball in that bumper. And then with the fall that that bumper had in it, I just wanted to be safer when we're pulling a trailer. And I just, like I said, I don't trust that. So I still, there's a wiring component that's already in the truck that I need to screw back to the bumper. So that's all I have to do there. Um, there's actually a couple holes from where it was at before. We're just going to reuse that one and then use the adapter to like a four flat for the, for the trailer. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update video on the daily driver that Cohen uses and we'll be using for lawn mowing and whatnot. So if you did enjoy this video, please guys, like always smash that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed, go down and hit the subscribe button. Of course, like always ring that bell notification that notifies you every single time we drop a new video and stay tuned to see what we have to work on next.